to make conscious food choices, to pause and play, giving balance and joy, no delay, sweat, stretch, and strengthen every day. And that is power living. So let's kick off our wellness week. Wellness Week was inspired initially by the Caribbean Wellness Day, celebrated each year on 13th September by countries in the Caribbean to raise public awareness about non-communicable diseases and prevention through healthy living. When I first introduced the idea of Wellness Week in Davos at the 2011 meeting of the World Economic Forum, there was a tremendous interest from the business community in creating a wide social movement on wellness and healthy living. The idea also took hold with government officials and colleagues from non-governmental organizations who committed their support. Today, I'm proud to say that in just 10 months, Wellness Week has now 13 organizations leading activities across New York City and 12 countries throughout the Americas are sponsoring Wellness Week events similar to the one we are celebrating today. I believe this is just the beginning of the change we need to create healthier environments for healthy living and the prevention of chronic diseases. These non-communicable diseases are very much preventable. We know their risk factors. They're smoking, physical inactivity, unhealthy diet, and alcohol consumption. And the UN is going to be meeting to focus attention on the problem. Here in New York City, we have solutions. The New York Academy of Medicine is proud to be part of the core local sponsoring group and honored to have worked with our international colleagues from the Pan American Health Organization, the World Economic Fund, and the Non-Communicable Disease Alliance, who are all bringing these critical issues of prevention to the United Nations Heads of State starting this weekend. It is my pleasure on behalf of the World Economic Forum to be part of this uh, event, the week, and the full endeavor. Your health is your wealth. And because once we recognize that, then other things are put into perspective. Other things that we might think are important, we realize by comparison, maybe they are important, but it's our health that makes the difference in terms of whether or not those important things can be truly realized. Today we're here in Harlem, we're launching Wellness Week, and we're launching it for New York City, and we're launching it globally. Uh, it's something which we are very proud to be the host for, and the mayor himself is excited and proud to do this, and so on behalf of the mayor, I have a proclamation here for Wellness Week. New York City recognizes a critical truth, that better health is not just a matter of individual choices. Rather, public policies are key to making healthy living viable and sustainable by shaping the environments in which children and youth, adults and senior citizens live, play, work and travel. Public policies are needed to make the healthy choices, the easy choices, to ensure every individual grows well and stays well. Let us celebrate a long and healthier life for all and make sure the next generation, those that are being born now and tomorrow, are free from NCDs. Be well, stay well, great week.